morning guys, I'm going to show you guys how I make a king mackerel or natal kuda trace. So basically, this is just a standard mackerel trace, um, can be used on a sod or a bonito, obviously you just have to scale it accordingly. I'm going to start with my lead wire. Okay, so basically my lead wire is longer than my actual bait that I'm going to use. Um, the reason for this is if the fish feeds up your bait and the wire folds back against the live bait or the dead bait, he's not going to bite you off. So it's about 40 centimeters long. I'm going to start with my lead hook. I'm using hoodlums, obviously hoodlums to size. This is a 1-0, but this is for a mackerel. If you're going to use a bonnie, maybe you want to step up to like a 3-0. I'm going to tie a haywire twist. Haywire twist is on the back of the packaging of the American fishing wire. I'm using number six wire, number five, number six, even number seven is good enough. I've caught many, many kudo uh, using number six and big kudo. So that's my lead wire. Next, I'm going to use a duster. You can use dusters, you can use skirts. Um, it's completely up to you. Uh, this obviously adds a bit of flash to the bait. Um, some of the guys say if the bait's really fresh, it's not even necessary for you to use a duster or a skirt. Um, I find, especially coming from spearfishing, that for sure the bigger the flashier it is, uh, the more appealing it is towards the kuda. Obviously the color of the dust and the flash it depends on the water. Obviously purple, purple and black and darker colors for dirtier water and uh, cleaner water for brighter colors. But my favorite by far is definitely the pink. So there I slide the, the duster over the skirt, over the lead wire. Now I'm going to attach a power swivel, size 5, size 6, size 8, to the top of my lead wire. Again, okay, just a haywire twist. I'm going to slide the duster up and up the way for now. Then I'm going to cut my, I've got my mackerel here. It's always a good idea to have your bait in front of you to, to measure the actual sizing of the, of the hook snoots. So I'm going to have one long and one short. So one about two thirds of the way down the body and one about in the center of the body. Using treble hooks, these are mustards. Uh, three extra strong, four extra strong. You can even go six extra strong, just depends on you. Personally, I have no issues with 3x or 4x hooks. Uh, that's three times or four times extra strong. I'm using size four on a mackerel. You can step up, you can use a size two if you want to on, a, on say like a shad or a bunny or something a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm gonna tie my haywire twist. There's the first snoot. I'm actually going to measure it because I want the treble place there. I'm going to go through my lead hook, but at the same time I'm going to go through the actual lead wire. So it's interlocked. Bend it over. Haywire twist to finish it. So basically it is, it's through the lead wire loop and through the eye of the hook loop and down the one side. The reason for this is the hook's not solidly welded so there is a bit of a gap. I'm not saying it is going to but the, it just eliminates the chance of the lead wire, of the wire actually pulling through that gap in the eye of the hook. And you see the placement, that's exactly where I wanted the hook on, the, on that side of the bait. Now I'm going to do a slightly shorter second hook snoot. Obviously on things like red eyes and sods, it's only necessary to have uh, one of these on a smaller bait. But for mackerel and bonnies, you can even put three trebles 
if you want to in a bonnie or a bigger bait. Okay, now I've just, I'm just tying the haywire twist onto the lead hook first. I went through the loop as well of the lead wire. And I'm finishing off with a haywire twist. Okay, now something that's quite important is this treble is going to go down that side of the bait. The other snoot's going to go down the other side of the bait. So it's quite important when linking the wires to check that one's on the one side of the of your lead hook and the other one's on the other side of your lead hook. Now I'm going to put my treble, just checking my spacing, about there. Finish it off. So that's my, my cuda trace and you'll see this, the trebles are actually staggered. I'll show you this now why I do that. Okay, then another trick, you can buy bait swimmers already pre-made. I prefer to just use three quarter ounce, one eighth ounce or half ounce chin weight. And this just slides over your lead hook. You just work the lead until it goes over. You bend that and then when rigging the mackerel, you go through the bottom, the bottom lip right in the corner underneath the chin and out the center. Right as far forward as you possibly can. And what actually happens is that chin weight sits underneath the bait and that creates a keel, it stops the bait from spinning. So when you're trawling or slow trawling, um, it stops the bait from spinning and it actually tracks straight. Obviously if you're on dead drift, you don't have to put the, the chin weight on. It's just completely, you can buy different sizes and you can play with the different weighting to get the bait swimming straight. Now you'll see the one treble goes down the one side. I'll just push it in the skin. Make sure there's no pressure on this wire, otherwise it's gonna bend the bait and the bait's not gonna swim straight. Down the opposite side. I don't know where my bait's been disappeared. Same thing, just hook it in the side. Obviously this bait's a bit frozen, so it is a bit bent. But you can see, if we look there from the top, doesn't matter where the, the cuda bites the trace, one of the trebles should get him. I mean, if you think about a cuda's mouth, it's about the width of my hand. So if he bites it near the tail, or he bites it here, this treble's gonna get him. Generally, you'll get with both trebles, he does bite the bait just behind the gills. Generally, if the tail gets chopped off, it's normally just a small fish. So I place the, the, the two trebles, one about two thirds and one about one third of the way down the bait with the chin weight. And then obviously your duster slides down, covers your bait and that adds to extra flash and extra traction to it. Again, you guys can buy ready pre-made up traces. Um, these come standard at all your fishing tackle stores, lead tackle stores. So yeah, that's how I make a king mackerel or cuda trace. <laughs>